Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. We are on day 33 for Everbell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where is the time going? Um, so yeah, so yesterday we started to build at Grizzly's Yard and we need to finish it up today. And I'm really excited because I'm really thrilled that his yard is slowly but surely becoming a really cool sawmill slash lumber yard. And yeah, so let's head back there. Um, we mostly worked on the part at the bottom in front of his house yesterday. And so now I wanted to focus up on the upper um, tier. We're going to do the second and third tier decorating. And we're going to incorporate this fourth tier too. Um, I went ahead and skipped ahead because it, guys, it legit took me at least 20 minutes this time for some reason to glitch myself up onto this fourth tier. So yeah, let's speed things up and get going. <laughs> Um, so I kind of thought it would be really fun if we could make this really long strip along the top of the fourth tier. Um, I really enjoyed doing the fourth tier glitch over by Raymond's house near the plaza. And I kind of wanted to do something similar but different back here on the back side of the island just because um, I thought this would be a good space to kind of elongate that section and just give us more space to be able to sort of decorate with more items. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I was really thrilled uh, when the new update came out and um, they had left the, the fourth tier glitch alone, um, along with the lake glitch. Um, I tried both of them right away because I was really nervous because, I don't know, just being that it's summertime, I really was really quite enjoying the lake glitch, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm really thrilled. So while we have a chance, I decided it would be good to sort of do a little more work with the, with the fourth tier glitch. Um, I mean, who knows? Most of the rumors are basically saying that um, there might be another update, you know, come October, something like that. Um, since they sort of spawned in a lot of the Halloween items um, for that, I think it's sort of anticipated that it'll probably be maybe November, something like that, before there's another update. But yeah, just wanted to um, take advantage of it while we can, so... <laughs> so I'm using the same custom padding that we were using before, um, just sort of putting it around these trees, trying to add a lot of texture up here. It is nice that you can actually use padding on the fourth tier glitch. Um, there's certain limitations, um, aka you can't, obviously you can't um, climb down yourself, so when you're finished you do have to call rescue services to get down from the fourth tier. Um, but I love that they do allow you to place items here. Um, so yeah, I wanted to use another lighthouse just to kind of put it off since this is in the upper right hand corner of our map and um, add some trees, all that good stuff. So. Um, so over here, this is directly behind Grizzly's house. I wanted to sort of um, show you a comparison for sizes um, with these items. I've been trying to decide what we should do with this area to sort of build it up to look like a sawmill. And if you notice, um, the tallest one is the rock climbing wall and the little simple panels. And you can definitely see the height difference between the two. Um, I'm adding some fencing here too, guys. I wanted to add a little barbed wire fencing here and there to sort of give it a little bit of added um, pop up here. <laughs> But yeah, trying to decide what to do over there to the left. Um, so I kind of placed those out just to kind of see height-wise next time we get down, um, maybe what is going to look best. So I'm thinking probably maybe we're going to put stalls up there instead. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really loving the height for either of those two items. So um, I'll probably play around a little bit with some of the pro design standees because those, um, I love the fact that those are the same height as the cliff. So We'll have to play around with a few and just see what looks best um, to create our faux building in the background behind his house. But yeah, um, so just placing down this lighthouse, putting in a little bit more barbed wire fence, adding a few flowers and a wild log bench. I just kind of wanted to create a little sitting area up here that um, we would be able to see from a, a long distance away. And I don't know, I was thinking we probably could just leave um, that glitch spot back there behind the cliff. That way, if we decided we wanted to get up here later, um, it would already be in place. And since you can't build a staircase <laughs> or an incline, unfortunately, up to the fourth cliff, um, I think that would be amazing if Nintendo would incorporate that ability. But I suppose they probably won't since we're not technically allowed up here anyways. But yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a few picks up here before we call rescue service to get us down. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited with how this is starting to look. We'll definitely have to do something with the solar panels and the other panels we have up here later. So we'll get to that. <laughs> so as we're waiting for um, re this rescue service, 
there we go, he dropped us at the plaza. Um, we're gonna have to climb back up here, but it does give us a good chance to sort of see how that lighthouse looks from up there. I think it's gonna look really great, so. I'm just adding some stalls back here. Um, if you happen to watch part one from yesterday's video, um, I had a couple of different things up here before. I was using solar panels and I'm just trying to decide how we want to do this to create the look of a roof. I found this really great um, tin roof. It's like a rusty tin roof custom design on the portal and I decided I thought that would be a really great extension to use for the building. So went ahead and customized some more stalls and we will be sure to kind of add those things and swap out some things as we go. So I'm just grabbing a few items here. Um, we have a little bit more work to do here on the bottom. I Forgive me guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I don't know what it is. This build, I feel very unorganized. <laughs> I feel like I usually have a little bit more solid plan in place, but this, this one's been a challenge for sure. Um, I also had some footage that for some reason got jargled um, while trying to capture <laughs> the gameplay. So unfortunately, um, this video is, is pretty well hacked up in pieces because I had to sort of splice out the spots that um, that didn't record properly. So my apologies. Um, I hope it's still a helpful, useful video for you anyhow. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut back this cliff a little bit. I really, I thought it would be cool if we could keep this waterfall here. We just might have to reshape it a little bit. Um, and I'm thinking actually in that spot to the right, it might be a good spot to move Whitney's house. Um, I thought it would be cool to do maybe some sort of berry farm or something like that. And I like that little nook over there to the right. I thought it might be a good spot for her house. So um, yeah, maybe we'll have to move her house and get a kit from Tom Nook and get that all ready to go for tomorrow or whatever, whatever comes along. <laughs> so I'm just placing some full grown pine trees. Um, for anyone that's seen my previous videos, I do like to do builds with um, full grown trees when possible. It just makes it a lot easier to be able to see how the whole area is going to look um, without having to wait several days because it does take five, five full days to grow a tree from a sapling to a full grown. So. Um, it just it makes it nice because you can sort of see the finished product faster and so um, I highly recommend if you have a spot on your island while you're building make a little tree nursery you know a place where you can grow your shrubs and your trees and things like that so then as you need them for builds you can just shovel them up and move them as you need them so and I'm really excited because um, the new items the new food items that we get from the fireworks from red um, the little boba coffee and popsicle and cotton candy um, actually is super useful because not only are they adorable to decorate with and hold, um, they will let you, you can use them to get um, a feat of strength, actually three feats of strength. So you can eat one cotton candy, you can take three bites and you'll get three um, three big motions out of it. So I'm pretty excited because that that's something that um, we haven't really had before. I mean, other than if you eat a stack of 10 turnips, but um, <laughs> there's not really a way to store those. So I guess it's one of those things that this is a nice way to get, um, to get a useful way to get some feats of strength if you're doing a build. Um, placing this extra long log sofa here, um, I decided to customize it with a little um, brown bear design that is just one of the standard customizations with a kit. We have a little log stool and just a little coffee mug here. I thought it would be a cute little place um, for Gri Grizzly to hang out and rest when he's taking his little breaks um, from logging, a hard day of logging and whatnot. So just trying to add a few little things to sit down here and um, we'll have to, I guess we'll have to decide what we want to do. If we want to use one of our inclines to have an actual staircase to get up to this level or if we want to just maybe drop a ladder or something like that. So placing um, some simple panels here and just trying to decide what we want to do with these stalls. I think we might want to set something on them, maybe not. Um, <laughs> I didn't really have a super um, gelled plan going into this, so I apologize, but yeah, let's see what we can come up with. I've got some of these items that we can probably start placing out and moving, so just trying to get some of these unnecessary things like flowers and whatnot out of my pockets. Um, I have this really cute wooden shop, plain wooden shop sign, and I found this lumber yard sign, guys, on the portal. It's super cute. So I'm going to set that down here, right by the entryway for Grizzly's house. I think it's really cute, and I'll be sure to link that in the description for you guys, um, as well as any of the other custom codes that we're using in the build today, um, because there's quite a few of them. 
Um, I was actually searching on there for a really cute, um, maybe like stacked wood or something like that to use on some of the simple panels. I found one that I like okay, um, but I actually, upon searching a little bit later, found one I like even better. So I'll probably at some point go ahead and switch those out in the build, um, just because I think it has a little bit more realistic log look <laughs> than the one that I was using um, in the last video. So yeah. <laughs> Just sort of adding some more items, adding a little bit of barbed wire fence and placing down um, an axe tool just to sort of give a little bit more look in the front part of the, um, the yard <laughs> to reiterate that this is a logging area. And thinking over here, um, we probably need a few little things too. So probably gonna move this chair and let's see what else we have we've got this cute little brick oven I love this item I think it's super cute and it just sort of makes sense to me that Grizzly would have a wood-burning stove sort of outdoor <laughs> wood-burning stove outside by his house so I also thought it would be cute um, to put a little like wash tub over by the clothesline so I went ahead and crafted one of those as well all right, so we're back up on the fourth tier. Um, like I said, we needed to get rid of those um, solar panels. So we're gonna be replacing that with some of these customized stalls um, with the tin roof design. And I did um, remember to bring a little workbench up here with me this time, just so that if we need to change anything, we can, which is nice. So there's a hot tip. Um, <laughs> I forget to do this all the time, but if you're going to glitch yourself up to the fourth tier, definitely bring like a trash can and some tools with you and maybe a workbench. So that way, if you you have what you need, if you need to change anything, recustomize things, stuff like that, it's always good to have a bunch of supplies to take with you. Um, I'm using this stacked wood custom design on these record boxes because I thought it would be cute from far away um, to make it look like there's stacked wood up here. So just trying to come up with some ideas to sort of make it look like a working space for Grizzly. And I did go ahead and leave a little space so we can walk back here as well just so that way in the future if we decide to switch out any of these things it's easily accessible. Just adding more wood. I'm trying to decide. I think we might alternate. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just trying to kind of get an idea in my head of what's going to look good and what um, can be moved around a little bit. Do you guys do that when you decorate too? I feel like sometimes I can visualize it and it comes together quickly. Other times, um, I don't know. I feel like I have to kind of move things around a bit, but... <laughs> And for anybody that's curious about um, anyone that's newer that has not tried the fourth tier glitch and how to get up to the top fourth tier, um, I do have a video about that um, towards the beginning of the Everbell series um, where we build Raymond's house with the fourth tier glitch. Um, but yeah, I will um, definitely put a link in the description as well to an article that explains it step by step. So yeah, <laughs> that way anybody that wants to give it a try themselves, you can. All right, so we are going to call rescue services again. I'm gonna grab this workbench and we're gonna, I'm gonna shovel up these flowers. I really like the way they look, but I think I'm gonna leave this glitch spot here. And in order for us to be able to get back up, we're gonna have to have a space to be able to land when, when our character pops up. So I had to shovel up those flowers. And then once we get down, um, that spot that we have over on the side, I'm going to demolish because I don't want to keep it there, but it's one of those situations that when you're decorating, you sort of have to build up a little bit and then tear down to, to get things placed where you want them to be. So let's go ahead and climb up. Um, you can see I'm still testing out a bunch of panels. Um, I've got these pro designs here and I'm just going to switch them out with these simple panels with this really cute window um, custom design. I believe the name of it is Factory, um, but I just thought it was cool. It had a real cool like industrial sort of vibe to it. I thought it would be perfect for this mill. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll make sure I put that in the description for anyone that's looking for a nice industrial window for their builds. But yeah, I think it's coming together. It's starting to look more and more like a lumber mill and less and less like a cliff. So I'm really excited. I think we made the right choice to put these stalls up there versus these solar panels because you can definitely see the roofing a lot better than before. <laughs> so I'm just going to start hacking away at this cliff and getting rid of this space that we temporarily used to glitch ourselves up. Um, putting back some of Fauna's little decorations because um, I do want to have a little bit of a space back here like we had prior where you can get to the back side of the island without having to climb up and over. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these designs back and then we'll have to um, 
push some of these items back and recreate our little passageway here. <laughs> so as we finish this up, um, just to remind you guys, I do have a link in my description in most of these most current videos. Um, I want to come see what you guys are up to. If you're interested, um, fill out the um, request form for me to come visit your island um, so that I can do a dream tour and feature it on the channel. I would love to. Um, I'm trying to get in the habit of um, doing some dream tours um, on Tuesdays um, for our Dream Tour Tuesdays series. So yeah, please fill it out. Um, let me know what your theme is and what some of your special features are on your island. I would love to see it. <laughs> All right, guys, so looks like we're pretty much wrapping up here with this area. I think it looks really good. Uh, maybe I might tweak a few things, but I think it really looks great. Um, I really like our decision to change out some of the things on the top tier, um, moving out the solar panels and putting in the stalls. Um, yeah, this was a pretty big build, so um, I'm really excited. Thank you to the subscribers for your encouragement to do this type of build. I think it was a brilliant idea. So yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking probably um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a request to move Whitney's house to the other side of this waterfall over here. And hopefully we can maybe start working on that um, in the next few days. Um, I'm really hopeful we can get somebody to kind of get a thought bubble here so we can do some island hopping. It's been a minute, guys. <laughs> so we'll see what we can come up with. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this build. Um, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So we'll do a little walkthrough so you can see it for anybody that missed the first part of the video. We've got a little clothesline in our wash bin and our little, um, <laughs> our little um, steel beams here and toolbox, our little brick oven. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I think this is going to be great for Grizzly. It's got a nice little work working area over here so that if we're doing any crafting on the back side of the island, we've got a lot of convenient tools and a workbench. And then if we come up over here on the other side of the bridge, you can see um, our little waterfall area and Grizzly's little um, <laughs> break spot over here uh, with the fourth tier with our lighthouse. Yeah, so anyways guys, I hope that this encourages you to do a little bit of work with the fourth tier. Um, I think it's gonna be great, I'm really excited. So yeah, looking forward to working on Whitney's area here next. Hopefully we can do a cute little berry patch for her. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me know what your ideas are. I'd love to hear them. Um, after all, this is our island. I want to share it with you. Anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much, truly from the bottom of my heart. I am so thankful every day um, for the subscribers, for your positive comments. It truly means the world to me. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a great day. Take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.